But this project that I'm working on involving potatoes actually has to do with a very special kind of potato uh, from the group Fereja. Uh, they're very well known and popular in South America. So these Fereja potatoes are uh, very unique because um, they have something that the potatoes that we currently enjoy here in the United States for the most part lack, and that's carotenoids. Papa Creole potatoes uh, contain uh, carotenoids, uh, zeaxanthin, lutein. Uh, they're pigments that give uh, the Papa, Papa Creole potatoes flesh a very deep yellow color. So not only is it strikingly beautiful, but it's also very healthful uh, carotenoids uh, for the human diet. To about approximately two years ago, I was contacted by Dr. Kathleen Haynes. Uh, she's a potato breeder with the USDA. And uh, about 20 years ago, she actually got some of this germplasm from research collaborators out of South America. Uh, when she first got these Papa Creo potatoes to her own plots here in the United States, uh, they were very small, about the size of peas. Uh, it was very hard to pull them off the vine. Through traditional selective breeding, over many, many years, she's increased the size. Uh, she's fixed breeding lines to have deep, very deep, uh, deeply pigmented color. I, I, in other words, selecting for the higher zeaxanthin lutein selections. And uh, she's also selected for better dormancy, a slightly improved tuber size. Uh, the Papa Creole potatoes are not as big as russet potatoes. They're a good size Papa Creole potato would be about the size of a golf ball. So Dr. Haynes had gotten to the point that she was ready to take some of her breeding lines of these uh, potato lines to other parts of the country. So she contacted me as well as one of our collaborators in Florida and uh, she wanted to, us to run trials to see which of these breeding lines would perform the best here in New Mexico conditions. So two years ago, we got about 400 different breeding lines that uh, Dr. Haynes has developed, and we tested them here in trials at the Los Lunas Agricultural Science Center. Uh, this past season, in 2016, we actually had plots of some of the best of the best, both here in Los Lunas as well as in Las Cruces at the Lion Decker uh, Plant Science Research Center. From this data, we collected yield data, we collected uh, co color data, pigment, uh, overall tuber quality, how, how pretty they are. So the data that we collected in Las Cruces and Los Lunas uh, was sent back to Dr. Haynes. She combined this data with the results of the trials in Florida. And from that, out of the hundreds of different breeding lines she developed, she selected the best of the best. And now we're actually working on getting those uh, uh, set up and released for commercial use. So this is a very beautiful, healthful, uh, specialty potato. And I anticipate that uh, particularly small-scale growers here in New Mexico are going to be very excited to have this additional offering uh, when they're selling their produce at the local farmer's market.